It's my fifth year in a row now that I visited Old Orchard Beach and made a video, which I'm very pleased to do. Uh, Old Orchard Beach is a great place to be. It just reminds me of what Miami is, except less coke and way less cool cars. But let's cut to the chase and let's go back and ask people some questions. What is a quote or saying that people frequently give for advice that is actually not very good advice? You maybe you gotta go to college? Why is that not frequently good advice? I mean, I'm not saying it's bad advice, but I think, I don't know, I think you'd be successful without college. It's a very expensive gamble, especially for people who don't, want, yeah. don't know what they want to do. I agree. Yeah, going to college, I feel like, isn't necessarily the only way, and society pushes it to seem like it is. Have two girls in the same time. Never let a girlfriend stop you from finding a wife. So, you've lived here in America uh, for five years, coming from Rwanda. Yeah. Is there anything that, like, that you did not expect when coming into America that kind of caught you off guard or that you something that you didn't know about America when you first came here that you learned? Yeah, when I, when I came here I knew everybody's rich. I never knew that like I can see homeless people on the street. I was surprised to see that. You thought everyone was like rich here and had money? Yeah, when I got here that was a different one. What is something the world gets wrong about Americans? It's not the land of the free. Some, some people say it and is the land of free. It's not, it's very expensive here. <laughs> yes. Do you think the world is more hateful and divided more than ever before? Or do you think people are being over dramatic? My experience, I'm 21 years old. Today, people are so selfish somehow. But like, let's say 10 years ago, I used to see people share like $5 and happy. Today, People, they have more money, but they don't like each other. One of my favorite bars is from a rapper named MF Doom. He says, even in America, you can find a way to earn a healthy buck and still keep your attitude on self-destruct. Yeah, I, it scared me. Like, I feel like it, it doesn't give hope, like, to see people has everything, but I'm not happy. I'm like, what's going on? Let's say, example for me, like 10 years ago, I had no money, but I was so happy with my family, with everybody. When I got here, I started making money, I started like to feel unhappy without a reason. I'm like, I thought maybe if I have a job and make money, I would be ha more happier, but it's not. That's what they try to tell you here in America, too. It's not. They, they, some, 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 they tell some. When you get here, it's, it's true, but some other things it's not true. They usually say money does not buy happiness. That is true, money doesn't... Ha you can try like to, uh, to make your own happiness, but I knew more people have money and everything, but I know happy. when you see them, oh my God, you don't want to be like them. Well, that marks another trip here at Old Orchard Beach, another trip, another video. Seemed a little more tame this time around, but hey, can't win them all. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you watch the other videos I've made before. And if you're new, subscribe or follow. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Always remember, Jesus loves you. Challenge for you. Challenge. Maybe with us, like. <laughs> you have to do that with us. Oh, I'm ready. I'm so, ready. Like, ready? Three? No, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs>